first off, congratulations to you both tonight. Thank you. Thank you. What does it mean for you at this point in your career to win that Carol Burnett Award? It was funny because, you know, I'm very thankful to the Hollywood Foreign Press because I won my first Golden Globe exactly 20 years ago for Nip Tuck, and it kind of put me on a map. And I feel like I can retire now. And to win this and then to have Evan win, who I've known for so long, and I'm so proud of him, it was just a tremendous um, night where it made me really look at the beginning of my life and then where I am now. I felt very thrilled. Absolutely. And Evan, for you, I heard that you, once, once you got into character, you stayed there and it was a little challenging to pull yourself out of that. Tell me about that and why that was important for you to really commit in that way for this role. Uh, I just think the writing and the material that you always give is 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 worth committing 120 percent, and specifically this material. Um, I just uh, I just wanted to give it give it all, give it everything. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, um, take it back over to you, sir. You have done so many different types of projects. Um, the, the stuff that scares me, mm -hmm. and also the stuff that makes me sing and dance. Um, tell me a little bit about that variety, and is there a space that you feel far more comfortable in, or what is it that kind of gravitates you to these kind of extremes? I don't know, it just it feels like my childhood, you know? Those are the two things that I loved. I loved horror drama, and I loved musical comedy, and I loved Barbra Streisand and vampires, you know, when I was a kid. <laughs> so I feel like in my adult life, they, I just always feel like I, one, I try and do the opposite of what I've just done. Um, and number two, I just only do something that I would love to watch or a story that I've been obsessed with. You know, I've been obsessed with the Dahmer story for 15 years. So I finally got the right time with the right actor who waited for me. Yeah. So it felt, it just always feels natural to me. Yeah. I only do things that I want to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Evan, why is it an automatic yes for you when this guy comes calling? And, and tell me about that kind of on-set chemistry the two of you kind of have as, as director and creator and actor. Well, we've, we've worked together for so long and I, I trust you. I mean, you're, you're, I don't know. I love you. You're you're like a father, uncle, friends, all of that stuff. So I felt I feel very comfortable with you. I know I'll be taken care of. I know that I can take big swings with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of them not always right, and um, and and you'll let me do it and experiment with you. But, yeah. So I just think it comes down to trust. I mean, Evan feels like you know we spend Thanksgivings together. He feels like a member of my children, member of my family. He's been with my children, and. You know, I didn't offer this lightly, this role for Evan, although for me, ultimately, there was no other actor who could play this role, because I think he, you know, he's, I would say it, he's like De Niro, like it's, I admire him so deeply because he really submerses himself in it, and I don't know, it's just such a full circle night for this guy who I've worked with for so long that I always thought should have won so many awards for the different things that we've done. So the fact that he's, you know, finally got it, I'm thrilled. I'm really happy. Awesome. Before I let you go, because you said full circle, it has to feel really gratifying, I feel like, for you as a creator to look out. You shouted out a number of people yes. who you have worked with over the course of their careers. Yes. But to see them getting honored, to see them getting honored last year, like MJ, to see them getting yeah. honored tonight, what does that do for you as a creator? Well, you know, like I said in my speech, it just it reminds me that I live in a different world than I grew up in, you know? And when I was growing up, there was nothing that I could watch that had any LGBTQ people in it. And I think that it really sort of dawned on me that when I started to get some degree of power, whatever that was, I insisted on having representation because representation is everything. And it also was about bringing different people to the table. You know, Evan was in the first season of Pose and I remember we talked a lot about how if you are watching television, those characters, and sometimes become your friends. And if you see it, you can be it, or you can understand it. And I feel like television is a great teacher. It always has been for me. So, I don't know. I will say that when MJ got that standing ovation, I felt it was like, okay, well, I felt 
I had accomplished something in my career because it was something I never would have imagined seeing as a kid. And there's some kid who will see MJ win and be like, okay, I can do it. Yeah. And that means something to me. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank yeah. you guys Thank so you guys. much. Thank Congratulations you. Thank again. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.